Uh, the other thing, speaking of Brady Quinn, Notre Dame, hmm. my my other team. They're yeah. How you gonna act on Saturday, huh? Uh, dude, I'm. I'm a how dude. you gonna act? A fool. I've been I've been a waiting. Fool. I've that's been waiting a... to ask you that question. Well, so I... actually, dude, he, no one that's listening can see this, but just so Griff can see. Oh man, that's blasphemy. <laughs> That is so blasphemous, dude. What? What? Why'd you even show me that? I'm upset. I don't what, know if I can continue to show. What? What can I do? It's the team I grew. All right. Up, it's the I, will, I will. I will describe what just happened. Josh is up here, all decked out, all USF gear, jersey, hat. He rolls his jersey up, Notre Dame shirt. I don't know if I want to keep going on with the show. To Listen. be very honest with you. Okay, but he- hear me out. This is a kid myself. That grew up with Notre Dame everything in my room. I even had the leprechaun painted on my wall. I ran on the field in South Bend. Notre Dame, that's my team. That's who I grew up watching. The options on Saturday were watch Notre Dame or go play in the road. All hugged up with your Rudy DVD. Right. Spooning myself. Mm. It's just gross. But, you know, US, I live, I've live. i lived in Tampa my whole life. I've season ticket holder at USF for the last, what, five years? I get wasted every Saturday. Have a great time. This Don't remember true. most of the games. Yes. So I've been there for plenty. I'm very torn. You know it. How you gonna act? You gonna uh, answer my original question? How you gonna act? I'm gonna have through it for USF to win. Thank you. I'm, Thank you. I mean, plus Skip Holt and I, we we we're, we're friends. We've got a connection. We we know each other. Mm-hmm. His family likes me. I talk to him all the time. Word. So. I'm going to have to. Sorry. Thank you. Uh, that was the correct answer. Okay. If you, if you, that being said, no shame. What I was getting at is they're ranked number 16. This is probably one of the better teams they've had in a hot minute. probably since, like, the early 90s when they were competing against FSU and Miami all the time. Those were the best days. And the big reason they're going to have a good team is not because of their offense, but their defense is actually – Tell me about it. They've had – they haven't had a good defense in a while. Their defense now is very young, but they've all their been defense playing. defense has been a sieve for the past couple of years. But they've been – their defense they have now has all been together for the last two to three years, and they've got really good talent. So, for once, they're actually able to stop people from scoring because that's been their issue. They've been able to put the points up. They just can't stop people from scoring on them. This just goes back to what I was saying. Like I said, the wonder years – they're gone. Yeah. And that's why the re- recruiting sway the pendulum is kind of swinging back in Notre Dame's way because they see that, all right, you got a solid coach. You, you know, you got things going in the right direction in that program. That's why you see teams like Notre Dame and Florida State kind of digging themselves out of the shithole they've been in for yeah. the past couple of years. And even Miami, like I said, was on the upswing until – when Because, you know, it, it – it all changed because once all the once every college basically had their own TV network or deal. I right. mean, you could go play wherever and still be on TV. So you know you weren't attracted to those big name colleges anymore. No, you don't have to be. Uh, the, go uh, somewhere and actually play and start. 